What's going on guys, Kando here, and what we're going to be doing actually is showing you the best quality settings for PC to get your FPS and your ping uh, better. I am also a creative partner with Fortnite, I have a creator code, it's Kando, C-A-N-D-O. If you want to use it, you can, you actually get a free wrap if you use it between the 8th and 22nd in Fortnite. It's kind of an eye scratch your back, you scratch my back, but you know, I'm helping you guys out with the best FPS and ping and everything like that that you can get in the game, and you guys can help me out by using my creator code. If not, all good, let's get into it. So a lot of people who play on PC don't know the right settings to play for Apex Legends because a lot of people have been coming over from either Fortnite or other Battle Royale games. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys the best settings in my opinion, what I use. So what you're going to see right here is in the video settings, it shows windowed, borderless windowed, and full screen. A lot of people, if they don't have a great GPU or a computer, they will play windowed. But if you play windowed, it actually adds a delay to your mouse and a delay to your gameplay. So if I were you, I would just play full screen. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier and it's a lot better for your gaming experience. For your aspect ratio, do not change anything about this. I'm going to show you guys right here when you change the aspect ratio. Look at this. Keep these video settings. It, it diminishes the quality of your video tremendously. So do not use that. Just keep the native, whatever your computer starts up with. Uh, mine's 16 by 9 use that native uh, aspect ratio. The game starts up and it essentially has almost all of your settings, but I'm going to show you guys some better settings just uh, to enhance your gameplay a little bit. As for your resolution, the native resolution is 1920 by 1080. Uh, the lowest one you can go by is 1280 by 720. Uh, the second to lowest is 1360 by 768. And then the next is 1366 by 768. If I were you, I would just honestly keep it at 1920 by 1080. Uh, if your GPU is pretty decent, if your uh, graphics card is pretty decent, you should be fine with your uh, settings. So honestly, I would just keep it the way it is. Whatever it's at, uh, just keep it as it is because, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to automatically have the settings that it should run uh, efficient. But if you guys want to test it, you can put it up to 1980 by or 1920 by 1080. Uh, it's, it's your decision, honestly. Uh, if I were you, I'd also lower your settings a little bit if you are not grading, or if your GPU isn't the best and your graphics card isn't the best, I'd lower it so you get better FPS. So I'm just going up and down for field of view. Uh, field of view is obviously the higher it is, uh, the less your field of view is, the lower it is, the less you have of your field of view. If you're playing a third person game, you obviously want a little bit more of your field of view to be higher. And then if you're playing a first person game like this, you want it to be actually lower. I go around 90 to 95. Uh, I think I have it at 98 right now. So you're going to see colorblind uh, assist. I'm not colorblind, so I don't need to use it. But if you want to use protonopia, uh, protonopia is for red coloring and light red coloring. Then you have deuteranopia, which is red slash green coloring. Um, if you're colorblind with red and green colors, I would use that. And then the last is tritinopia. Tritinopia is for blue and yellow coloring for colorblindness. So if you can't see uh, blue or yellow that well, I would honestly use that setting for visuals. So V-Sync is based off of input lag or screen tearing. You want that completely off. You do not want it on at all. I know there's a bunch of settings. There's, I think, triple something, adaptive, and then more adaptive. Just completely turn it off. V-Sync is really bad. Uh, it has input lag, and it tears your screen. So you don't want screen tearing at all. You don't want any of that. You want the game to run smooth, so turn V-Sync off. So adaptive resolution target. Some people might not know what this is, but I keep it around 60 plus because you want obviously 60 frames or more in a game. So the way it works, right, is if you are if you want to trade off quality for visuals or for visuals for FPS, you want to put it lower or higher. It all depends on what you want. Uh, personally, I keep it around 60 just because my PC is decent. I have an i5. If you have an i5 or something like that, it should be fine. So I would keep it around that. But if you have a lower GPU or a lower CPU, I'd honestly lower it. You also want to turn off uh, adaptive super sampling as well. You don't want it on. So this is a little difficult. So texture streaming budget, uh, it's going to be based off of your RAM. So obviously, if you have a better PC, you have better RAM, you can run it a little better. You're going to see me increase it, and you're going to see that the settings are actually... Uh, mismatch it's actually saying that my GPU can't handle that so they want me to keep it at a lower setting So you want to lower it or keep it the same some people what they do to get better imaging and better FPS They'll actually lower it one peg down uh, Just because you know, it doesn't it doesn't run as hard on their GPU or CPU. Uh, it's all honestly uh, preference I don't really see a difference when I lower it or higher it I just see a difference in obviously textures and qualities so that's honestly what you guys could do with that so texture filtering, you're going to honestly want bilinear or trilinear. Uh, you don't want a nice atropic uh, just because that's the highest settings you can have. But if honestly, if you have a tank PC, I would use it. Uh, I don't have a TP or a tank PC. I have an Intel i5 and I have, I think, a, 10, a 1060. So, you know, my, my CPU and GPU are pretty okay. They're not the best. They're kind of a little bit above average. So you're going to see ambient occlusion quality. You're going to want to turn that off. So when you turn that off, it's actually going to lower... 
um, the, it's going to just lower it for your GPU. Your GPU is going to be using a lot while running this game, obviously. So you're going to want uh, as little uh, to nothing going against your GPU. So you're going to want to turn that off completely. So shadowing. Shadowing you want low as possible. Honestly, if there was a chance to turn it off completely, I would. Uh, so shadowing, if you guys don't know what that is, it's when you obviously see shadows and you might not, you might think it's a person or you might not think it's a person. Uh, it kind of makes the game brighter, it's easier to see. So honestly, for your visual qualities, it's better to turn it off. It also helps with your FPS because there's less on your screen and less for your GPU and CPU to handle. So I would definitely turn that off or lower it. Then you're going to see under it, you're going to see spot shadow detail. You're going to want to turn that completely off. It's going to go ahead... Uh, and kind of do the same thing with the settings above. So you're going to want to turn that off completely. It helps with your FPS and other visual qualities. For spot shadowing and volumetric, volumetric lighting, I would just disable that. You don't really need it. Uh, obviously, when you disable things and for your visual quality, it's obviously going to help. So turn that off. You don't really need it. It's just a little bit of lighting that helps. Uh, these are honestly the trickiest on the bottom. The bottom four are honestly the trickiest. It depends on what your CPU and your GPU are. So your model detail, if you run it medium or high or low, what's going to happen with your model detail is if you want it high, uh, it's going to give you the highest quality for visual effects. If you don't have a great GPU or CPU, I would lower it. Your effects detail is obviously for visual effects. For it to run at its best, I would honestly it, uh, lower it uh, and go to medium. But if you have a tank uh, PC, like I said, I would just go to high. Uh, it runs for the best quality at medium. Impact marks isn't that important. Ragdoll, now that's for uh, how realistic dead bodies are shown or how realistic bodies are shown when they die or if they uh, interact with you. So essentially for those lower four, when you lower it, it'll actually help your GPU. It'll reduce the strain on your GPU. So if you have a bad GPU, I'd honestly put them all to low or medium. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name's Kendall. I love you guys. And I'm out. Peace.